Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Lux Budgets. My name is Jess, and this is my first video here on this channel. Now, I'm not new to YouTube, you guys. I do have a primary channel called Creative Gardenista. Over on that channel, I share a lot of my plant care videos, gardening videos, home decor, and DIY type of things. So if that's something that you're into, definitely check me out. I'll have my link down in the description box for you all. But I just wanted to come on camera and say hey, introduce myself, kind of explain what you can expect to see from me here on this channel, why I created it, and what it's about. So as I stated, my name is Jess. I am a single female. I don't have a husband or a boyfriend or anything. I also don't have any children. I do have two little kitties and a dog, so those are my babies. I do currently work full time from home, so this is my office space that I'm currently filming in, y'all. I am so blessed and thankful to be permanently working from home, y'all. I have just been enjoying it. So here on my channel, I will be doing a lot of Plan With Me videos, y'all. I'm not new to the planner community by any means. I have always been a happy planner girl been planning for years. I'm very heavy into stickering um, ever since my elementary days, actually. I used to do a lot of journaling. I used to write in diaries. I also did scrapbooking very heavily. That is a very expensive hobby, you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be getting heavy into planner decorating. I also will be doing a lot of budget with me's. I am embarking on a debt-free journey starting this year. Um, so I'll do some paycheck to paycheck budgets. Uh, cash envelope stuffing, sinking funds, all of that jazz. So super, super excited to be starting this channel and embarking on this new debt-free journey. I hope you guys are down for the ride with me. If you're also on a debt-free journey, leave me a comment down below. And yeah, so I'm not gonna ramble too much. Just wanted to say, hey, introduce myself. Let's go ahead and jump into my planner setup for 2021. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into the planner setup. Y'all, I'm so excited to get the setup for 2021. So this is a happy planner. I am a happy planner girl, y'all. This is the classic size. This is a vertical layout. This planner I picked up from my local Michaels, um, and this one is called the Minimalist Planner. So I love how just very neutral the cover is. It's got kind of like a painted texture background to it, I guess you could say. It just says 2021, this is your year in rose gold letters. I love the rose gold rings, just very, very neutral. I'm loving it. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It just says, hello, this minimalist happy planner belongs to, and I'm going to put my name. So these are the stickers I'm going to use. These are rose gold, kind of like a script font that I picked up from Hobby Lobby Half Off. And let's get this open here. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to fit. I hope this has, yes, this does have lowercase. Wait, hold on. Oh, wow. I was, wow, y'all. <laughs> I thought I was just getting two pages of stickers. This is awesome. So I think I'm going to do lowercase just to make sure that I fit it correctly. So let me get an L. Pop the middle out there. Okay, so get an L. This is so hard to do with nails, you guys. Um, <clears throat> by the way, my nickname is Lady and it's spelled super complicated. So yeah, y'all see. Okay, y'all, that was a struggle with these nails, but this is my name. If you all are wondering what this is, this says Lady. This is a nickname that has stuck with me since college. So yeah, this planner belongs to Lady. And then open up to the next page. This is just kind of like your yearly overview. I love that it gives you a full look at 2021 and 2022. So I think that's awesome. So I might go through here and just kind of like mark my paydays. And then the next couple of pages, I love this, you guys. I love that Happy Planner has added it this year. This gives you just a monthly 
look at a glance. So I think what I'm going to do here is just go through and list all of my birthdays, any vacations, weddings, any important events. I'll go ahead and just list out each month. It does go all the way through December. And then of course you have your monthly planner. So y'all, I just love how neutral these pages are. This sticker here, just ignore this. I added this myself. It was from another spread that I had a sticker left over. So I just popped it there. It didn't come with the planner or anything. But this is what your dashboard overview looks like every single month. So you have your notes section. You have a section to put this month's focus. So anything you really want to focus on for the month, you can list that here in this box. Special dates and holidays. It does list the major holidays for you. So again, you can add birthdays, weddings, whatever you want to add there. I love that I have this to-do list checklist, y'all. I love checklists. I'm a huge fan of checklists. I love that I can list anything major that I need to do for the month and just check that off. And then I also love that they did add a little gratification section down here. It says this month I am grateful for. So love, love, love that. And then moving on, you have your monthly overview. Of course, again, y'all, I just love how neutral these pages are. I love that I have a notes section here. I might change this to a different header. We'll see when I start decorating, but y'all, this just gives me so much opportunity to sticker. Like there's not a whole bunch of colors. I can make it my own. I love it. And then again, same thing for your weekly. Very, very minimal, not a lot of color. So it gives me plenty of room to decorate. And y'all, I love this vertical style of planning. I do break my day up into morning, noon, and evening. Um, sometimes I do work, home, and business. It just depends on what I feel for the month. So I just love I have those three sections there. This is a look at February. Again, the same layout for the dashboard. Again, very neutral colors. I'm not going to bore y'all going through every single month, but I'll just give you a quick flip through of what the minimalist planner looks like. I know when I'm looking for or shopping for planners, I like to flip through and see what the dashboards look like. So. And yeah, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to bore you guys too much. Um, the first thing that I want to do, you guys, I only like to carry six months at a time. So I'm going to flip to the end of June, which is here. And just go ahead and remove these remaining pages and set those aside to switch them out when we get to July. This is another thing that I love about Happy Planner. I love that it's so customizable. I love that all of the pages come pre kind of like slit on the ring so you can easily pop in anything or take out anything that you don't want. Okay, and this last section here. All right, so that's that, set that aside. Okay, so let's go back to the front. That looks so cute. Okay, so let's start with January. And you guys, what I like to do is, I like to incorporate everything in one planner. I don't like to carry separate planners. I don't have a budget planner and a work planner and a catch-all planner. I like to have everything just in one planner. So as you can see, this is already very thin. It's not super thick. So I do go in and add my own pages for budgeting. So I'm going to do that first and I think Let's see, I think I want to add it in right here where the tab is. Yeah, so then I can flip over to monthly. So let me go ahead and add in my pages. So this is just an old planner. I think this was like my planner from 2016 or 17. I just kept the cover and took out the guts. This is where I store all of my like extra filler paper. So I'm gonna pull a few sheets from here and I don't think I have any just basic line pages. So we're gonna go with the dotted. For some reason, y'all, it's been super hard for me to find line paper for Happy Planner. And I think I'm gonna take budget, paycheck one, paycheck two. I think I'm just gonna do two pages for now for each month. So let me set this over here. And pop that in there. So once I open to January, I'll have my monthly budget overview. I'll do my paycheck one, paycheck two, and then I'll have my sinking funds or weekly check-in, something on the back page here. So I'm gonna go through and do that for every 
section. Okay, so that is that. And then, again, y'all, I will be doing separate videos where I actually decorate these pages and do the budget with me, so stay tuned for that. So after the end of June, I want to add in my debt section. So this is just an old dashboard that I pulled from an old planner. I'm gonna add that in here. Um, this does say October. I may go in and add like a separate tab that says budget or debt free, but I do have some new dashboards on the way that I've ordered from Etsy that are top tabs. So I think I'm gonna use those once they come in. This will work for now. So this will be my divider for this section. Again, ignore this, this is from old planner. Um, and then I'm going to add in some of my debt pages. Let's see, pull some stuff from my old planner. Oh, first up, definitely going to add in this. This is a goals page that I created last year. Um, and y'all, it's just something that I think I'm going to include in my planner every single year, just because the things that I've listed on here in these categories, I can use over and over again. So I'll just do a quick overview with you guys. The first section that I created is budget. Let me slide this in here real quick. Okay, so first up we have budget. For budgeting, I do want to implement the debt snowball, you guys. If you're not familiar with Dave Ramsey, um, I'll leave a link down to his debt snowball video. Um, but that is the method that I'll be using to pay off my debt. And I'll go into further detail once I create my actual snowball pages. Next, I do want to implement using cash, so I will be switching over to cash envelopes. This will be the first time using cash for me, so y'all pray with me. It's gonna be a journey. Um, I do have a goal to save $2,000 by the end of the year, just personally, separate from the savings challenges that I'll be doing, which I will have a video coming up for that. Um, and I do also want to implement no spin weeks every single month. Um, so I will go in every month on my monthly calendar and mark out just a week where I won't spend anything. Next category I did was personal. Um, personally, I do want to take more me time, you guys. I feel like I have just been pulled in every direction. Um, so I do want to take out more time just for me. I do want to cook more, and that will be a big, big focus for me, you guys, just because being that I am single and live alone, it's just me. So I do a lot of eating out. That's where a lot of my budget gets blown. So I do want to focus on cooking more to do more meal planning and help save in that area. I do want to be more selfish. Um, again, that kind of ties into taking more me time, y'all. Please don't take that the wrong way. Um, but I do just want to focus more on myself. Um, and then I do also want to travel more, you guys. I didn't do much traveling all because of COVID last year. Um, I did go on three trips last year. I went to Vegas with my friends, which was a trip that I did not have to pay for. Um, I also went to Myrtle Beach twice, um, once for my sister's birthday, and then my family has a condo down in Myrtle Beach, so we go every year. That's always a free trip for me as well. So I do want to travel more. Hopefully this COVID situation will allow that to happen this year. Um, as far as my home, I do want to finish my office, you guys. I am in my office now. It is still a work in progress, but hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a completed tour at some point. Um, I do want to continue my landscaping. Again, that does tie into my other channel where I do all of my gardening. Um, I do want to declutter and organize, you guys. I do, I've been here almost four years and y'all will be surprised how much junk and stuff that you just accumulate over the years. So definitely wanna focus on that this year. I also want to finish my patio makeover um, that I started last year. Again, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to my other channel down in the description box. Um, and I do have a ton of other projects that I may need to go in and just add to the back side of this sheet. Um, so yeah, that was my overview for home. As far as wellness, I do want to start taking my vitamins again. I do also want to drink more water. I want to start working out, which is something that I don't do at all other than working in the garden, y'all. That is definitely a workout. Um, but I definitely want to start that up. Um, I do want to continue my spa Saturdays. So you guys, this is something that I started last year. 
Um, and basically it's just something I do for myself. Every Saturday, I just do something that makes myself feel good, whether it's doing a facial mask or deep conditioning my hair or doing my nails, like just anything that personally makes me feel good. That's what my spa Saturdays is about. Um, and then I do also want to read more. You guys, I used to be very heavy into reading books and that just completely came to a halt. So definitely want to get back into reading as well. Um, as far as relationships, again, y'all don't look into that too much. I am single, um, but I do want to start going back to church. Again, COVID has put a strain on that. I used to be very heavy and active in my church. Um, so definitely want to start that back up. I do want to go on date nights. Hopefully I can meet somebody that I can share my time with. Um, spend some more time with my girls, do more girls nights. And then I also want to be transparent in all aspects of every relationship. And then lastly, career-wise, um, I did set a goal to reach 1K subbies, um, which I actually, on my other channel, y'all, I just hit 15K on my other channel. So I am going to leave that for this channel here. That is kind of a high goal for my first year. Again, this is my first video, but hopefully we can hit that mark this year. Um, I did have listed that I was looking for a new job. You guys, I was facing a layoff last year. Um, luckily, back in May, I was able to land another position which is full-time permanent work from home so outside of covid even if the buildings open back up i still will be permanently working from home so that was the blessing um, i'm going to leave that and just look at that as in growth opportunities so i always want to look into moving up within the company so another position is how i look at that i definitely have a ton of side hustles that i want to continue guys i do hair i do home decor makeovers and design I do landscaping for others. I have a ton of side hustles, so definitely want to keep that up. And then I also want to volunteer more, you guys. I just want to give back to my community. So that is the overview of my goals page. Definitely have to have that in the front of my little budget goal section here. Next, let's see. Uh, okay, so next I'm going to add in this tracker here. This is a tracker that I created. Again, you guys, I am following Dave Ramsey's debt-free journey method here. So the first step, I am on baby step number one. I'm starting over. Um, so the first step is to save a $1,000 emergency fund. So I've just created this wine glass here and I've marked 100 through 1,000. Hopefully I can suppress that and reach goal once my glass is filled up. So this is what I'll be using to track my progress on that. And then next, I'm going to add in this sheet here. This is going to be my overall debt page, you guys. This is a sticker that I ordered from Etsy, and y'all, I did not read the description. It came super small. I was hoping this jar was going to fill up the whole page so that I could list my debt and just, just track my overall debt payoff process. So y'all, I will be probably removing the sticker and replacing it with something bigger, but this will be my overall debt tracker. And then this is my debt snowball that I started, you guys. I need to go in and add another sheet. So let's grab one of these. And I'll add this here. So this will be a full layout display of my debt snowball again y'all i'll do a whole separate video on me setting up these pages here so that is where that will be and then i do also want to add in my debt trackers so let me find some cute paper for that hmm. actually i think i have yeah I'm going to use a dot grid for that. And I've got one, two, three, four. Currently I have five debts that I'm actively paying on. Well, I should say consumer debts that I'm actively paying on. Um, so I will use these sheets to create those trackers, which again will be in another video. So I've got five pages here for that. And then lastly, I'm going to add in this here. This is a sheet that I created, which is going to be a tracker for one of the savings challenges that I will be doing this year. Again, y'all, another whole separate video. This is just me setting up the planner. So I will go into detail of all of that 
in a separate video, but this will be my tracker for that. And then lastly, I'm going to add in this page here. This is just a tracker that I created for all of my logins and passwords. Every year, you guys, I like to go in and change my passwords up. So basically, I'll just list my username, my password here, and then off to the side, I'll put any account numbers that may apply. But these are just all of the accounts that I could think of. I left some space. So I know there's some that I forgot. Um, and I just created these pages out of some paper and added some cute little washi. And yeah, so this will be my logins. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Not too bad. It's still very, very thin. It's not too thick, so I'm loving it. Oh, I will also be using a cover. This is the cover that I'll be using. This is a Happy Planner classic size cover that I got when they had their clearance sale last summer. So I'm going to slide this in here like so. Perfect. And y'all, I love this rose gold, like, cover but y'all I really hate this blue interior like I wish they would have made this black or just something more basic like instead of a huge pop of color but it is what it is so that is my planner in a nutshell I do have one little addition that I want to add this is just a cute little J sticker again you guys my name is Jessica but I go by lady social media wise so i'm just going to add this cute little embellishment to the bottom corner here just like that there so yeah you guys that is pretty much it that is my planner setup for 2021 i'm so happy to finally have this done and ready to go i'm super excited for what i have to come for this channel I definitely have a lot of budget with me's, plan with me's, sinking funds, cash envelopes, all of that jazz. So yeah, I hope you guys will join me on my journey. Please consider subscribing. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace. Written in the stars, you me.